Hello friend, welcome to the channel Pharmacy Dictionary. In today's topic, we are going to study about the essential drug concept, their basic introduction with their principle and advantage. Do you have first aid box at your home? If yes, then who have decided which medicine to be placed inside this box? If you have selected all this medicine, then something must come into your mind. Then only you have selected this one to be included and that one not to be included. If there are children at your home, then you have placed so many pediatric drugs. If older person, genetic person are there, you have kept some different medicine which are useful for them. And if all the members of your family are just belong to adult group, then you must have only basic drugs. So the drug selection is based on your choice and your choice is based on the circumstances circumstances at your family. So the same principle can be applied on a district hospital basis and the same principle can be applied on a state council of India accordingly or on the same principle can be applied to the all over the country and again I would say the same principle will be applied to all over the all over the world. So this concept which medicine to be kept at particular time interval or which medicine has to be removed from that particular section list is basic of essential drug concept. Now let me clear with the basic meaning meaning of essential as you know the Hindi meaning of essential that is our shit that means that has to be available at all the time at your home at your district hospital at your state hospital or your Indian main hospital or throughout the world health organization community center so all these principles are same that we need to compile all those list of medicine which are useful which are easy to purchase which are useful for the all age population and which are safe and economical so there are so many parameter which govern the selection of this kind of medicine see in my state there are so many problem of joint is so in district hospital the amount of drug which are used for the treatment or maintenance of joint disc case or liver tonic must be higher as compared to the another one but in some state the loose motion or diarrhea is a frequent then they will have those kind of drug apart from this anti diarrheal drug from they will keep only anti diarrheal drug they will not have any drug for joint disc so it may be vary from state to state country to country and other parameter also so the essential means that must be available at all the time the essential drug concept was given by who to maintain a uniformity of drug collection so that its supply may be adequate at all the time so as per the definition of who we can explain this as a who compiled a list of drug that are required to meet the primary health care need of majority of population let's consider example of my state in my state there are so many different types of population out of which few are living in state out of which living are in the village so the economical background may be variable even economical background may be variable okay it's okay no problem about that but some but some circumstances are also variable the chances of particular disease may be higher at state level or in the city or some chances of disease to be occurred is higher side at the village level so in that particular state there should be a harmony or equilibrium between this need and this need that convert the conversion of essential drug concept coming to the next explanation that is important note also we say that there should be available all the time in adequate quantity as well as in suitable doses form now these terms are very important what is the meaning of quantity the quantity must be sufficient at all the time that is called buffer stock also i have explained it in the next report so buffer stock means that stock which has to be kept constant for each and every time suppose i have 20 tablet and the buffer tablet buffer stock of the paper 20 tablet is 10 tablet means i can issue this 20 tablet up to that level where it reached to the 10 but before reaching the 10 like 15 i should order that drug so that after distribu distributing it and after receiving that my drug minimum quantity should be maintained at 10 or 15 at any cost at any time that's called buffer stock and the proper dose form is also important as i said you earlier if the paracetamol is required for treatment of pyrogen infection and to treat the fever but the fever may be different types the fever the, per the person who is having fever may be of different age group suppose children adult and genetic and the population of children is higher to have the fever or due to some known or no reason then I must prepare some doses form accordingly so that is why need of syrup of paracetamol is a little bit higher for short term 
for short duration time as compared to tablet or any other doses preparation that is why dose is also important and that is based on the ratio of children adult and genetic depending accordingly coming to the next point the list may be different for different country and must be updated as i explained you earlier the list of essential drug may be vary from state to state country to country even from different types of organization they can also change or update their list of drug but in important point says that that should be updated it is not hard and fast rule that you have made essential drug concept in 2010 and that should be carry on up to 2020 this is not correct you should update in a particular or proper interval so that that drug may be excluded which is not in use and that drug must be included which is very effective and less having side effect so that should be updated in a proper interval now coming to the guiding principle which principle guide us to select a proper list of med this is called guiding principle first of all use generic name where possible if not possible give brand name also see drug can be classified according to their chemical constituent or the brand name by which any company is selling it out so brand name is the name of company and generic name is the exact chemical constituent or api of that particular drug for example if the drug is considered or is if the drug is sell out with the name of paracetamol that is called generic drug but if that particular drug is considered or sell as a crocine or calpol that means it is a brand name so you have to mention a generic name if possible if it is not possible then try to maintain both generic name as well as its brand name so that there must not be any confusion in the mind of prescription prescriber so that he or she may prescribe accordingly next one clear and accurate information regarding supply store and distribution of that particular drug there should be complete clear concise and short dis discussion and information regarding supply where to supply which village you need to supply this particular drug where that should be kept in stock at any how and what is the storage condition is that drug is hygroscopic so that it has to be converted uh, it has to be stored in a air tight container or that drug is light sensitive so that you have to protect it from light likewise where the distribution should take place with whom the distribution take place should pharmacy distributed or different worker like mitani in our state that should be distributed or health other health primary health worker should be distributed this condition of drug now coming to the selection parameter what is the parameter of selection of drug in essential drug list first one says disease prevalence which disease taking place at your place is called consideration of disease suppose in my state there are so many chances of liver disease as i have told you earlier so in my state the maximum medicine will be belonging to the category of liver tonic but in some other cases that may be a problem of tuberculosis they have maybe suffered from the problem of dysentery or diarrhea so accordingly which disease take place almost oftenly that particular drug should be available at any time or at any cost next one is efficacy is that particular drug is effective or not if the drug is not effective then what is the need of that particular drug in that particular list so that we have to revise it accordingly that is the still is effective if new drug is found more effective than previous one then you should replace that drug with a new one next say safety safety and efficacy are two side of a coin if drug is efficacy but it is not safe then it is not used to be used but if drug is safe as well as efficacy then it is good so we have to check the safety parameter that is drug is suitable for that particular age group of people or not if not then we have to consider another one if yes then it should be continued until any problem persist coming to the next point there is a cost effective this is a major point to be consideration in many state suppose a paracetamol strip of generic brand come into 2 rupees per strip but a branded tablet come 20 rupees per strip then what will be the consideration the cost obviously those state will consider 2 rupees but effective and effect are not variable these are good so they will consider strip which is of worth rupees 2 that is economical otherwise they will have to pay so many so much amount of money to just buy few strips next one is doses form suitability as discussed in earlier which doses form is suitable for that particular state which population is in maximum number children adult or genetic person accordingly we have to prepare the doses form of that particular drug only coming to the next that is the advantage what is the basic advantage actually i should say what are the basic advantages because there are so many advantage of this essential drug concept first of all this generate the coordination between health care department means 
there are so many health care department like primary health care department district health care department state health care department and all india health care department so there are so many other department also exist i have just given you example of few only so there should be a proper coordination in this conditions in this uh, health care organization so that a distribution of medicine took place in a proper way health government health department issues some quantity of drug but that is not available there is not reaching to the proper desirable place then it is miscommunication so that this list provide a proper guideline that the particular drug has to be available in any or you can say all all the healthcare department coming to the next advantage that is development of national formulary every nation every country had its own formulary that is also kind of healthcare system very future it's efficient by this kind of essential drug list health national formulary means a uh, nation has to prepare a list of drug that must be available in his state or in their state or in their country also this is variable accordingly this is called national formulary coming to the next one that is buffer stock it helps to maintain a buffer stock as i explained it earlier every healthcare department must maintain few quantity of drug at any cost at any time then only they have to issue the other one so that minimum quantity which has to be kept is called buffer stock and at the last uh, important information regarding gpat or any other competition exam india's first essential drug list were come in 1996 and that conclude 300 drugs that was important information that may be asked in any examination so be careful about it so friend that's all for the day thank you very much for watching this video if you want to take screenshot of this whiteboard section you may have screenshot after some time i will be aside from this whiteboard thank you again for watching this video do take care of yourself thank you